All right, so I'm going to show you how to set up set up cell setup. <laughs> it's hard to say. Um, so we double click cell setup and click new. And you want to select your robot. We are the ER for you. ER for you. Uh, it won't work if you don't do that. So click OK. We're going to double click robots and double click ER for you. We do have a slide base in the uh, milling room. Uh, but we're going to make this one without a slide base. We don't need to put that in there right now. And so there it is. Now we're going to double click general and we're going to add a table. So double click that. It's a one meter by one meter. That's a thousand by a thousand. That's good. And then just click. All right, it's not quite underneath that. So this is how you move objects. Click the drag object button. And I want the back of the arm to be on the back of the table. So I have the whole table work envelope right here and lastly we are going to add a cube so double click materials double click cube and it gave me a red one red is no good I want green because I just find that green and yellow go well together so click on the arrow if you if you drop it on the top of your robot it'll actually sit on top of the robot arm so don't do that so I put it there so we're all good get rid of the new objects now if I take this slider bar to the right hand side of the screen and pull down it pans down if I right click and move the mouse up and kind of over here I can zoom in so that's neat now you can see that this block is going to be out of the reach of this arm especially as it swings down it's definitely not gonna be able to pick that up so we gotta move that thing so I can either click and drag this object and be careful you might click and drag the table and try to guess where right in front of that is but better yet I want to give it an exact location so if I click the show positions it shows me this position. I need to double click that little tiny cube, which is kind of a challenge. I'm going to put it at a position of 400 comma 0. So I'm going to right click, move in so I can really see it. And oops, I double clicked the table. It says table, so that doesn't work. So click off that. Double click the cube. <laughs> there it is. Click position. 400 0. And now it is in the position that I want, which is exactly in front of the arm. In some of the programs you're going to run, you need a cube in an, an exact position. So that's how you set it by using this thing here. Now go to File, Save This As, and I'm going to save mine as Pick and yeah, Pick and Place. I've already saved it as that. Uh, save it as that because for your very first activity, you're going to be doing uh, the assignment called Pick and Place. It's going to have the same setup as this one but the actual uh, location you move the block is going to be slightly different so you could use this one for your pick and place even though it's for our practice one so go ahead and save it and watch the next video that shows you what to do with it